Hello, Hawkflame here. Today I am back with map making episode number two. I've done a few things since last time, like I fancied up some of the signs and I added the maps for the heads. This took a while, but like I have them all stored in here, so I was using external programs that I couldn't record with, so I wouldn't, wasn't able to record anything. So I got all the heads here, and later I was going to rename them, so it says their name when you hover over them, just for an extra little fact. And I did say we are going to do these this episode, but we're going to wait to do those later. Because today we are going to do the game options, and if we have time, we're going to do the rules. So I already have it set up where if you click it, it takes you here, click this, it takes you back. And it's simple using the new Minecraft 1.8 1. 1. stuff. It's just, well, it's kind of complicated. It's uh, block data and all this, which, yeah. But the main part that runs the command is click event colon action run command value and then the command you want them to do. So here it makes me only say hi but I was gonna have a command inside a command inside a, a command inside of a command. So if you click it it changes bottom line and changes color. Same thing here and it's gonna do it two times and then reset it back to here. So let's go and get to work on this. Let's see here. So let's find the click event right here. I'm just gonna do block data where the sign is and it's going to be let's just actually copy this whole command. Let's go copy and and paste it right here. So this is going to be really confusing a command inside of a command. So let's see, click event, nearest block data, let's delete that too. So let's see, let's delete that because we don't need to use that yet. And then over here is 5 minutes, it's going to be 10 minutes now and it's going to be color orange orange so let's test this oops did I save it yeah I did that's kinda weird let me just look in chat so click event block data all that I'll actually be right back because it's really hard to do this while recording because I usually open up a notepad and just type everything out I'll Hey guys, I'm really sorry, but for some reason the audio messed up when I recorded this section of the video. So what you're seeing right now is basically we went through and we changed the signs to scroll through when you right click them. So if you keep on watching then you'll see that we do some command block stuff and all that. So. I'm really sorry that the audio got messed up, but you can at least watch me like type in the commands and set most of it up. But I'm really sorry, and I will see you guys later.
Let's try it. Okay, and we're back. I am extremely sorry about the audio just not working in the last clip, but and originally we weren't going to do the rules because uh, the second clip was 18 minutes long, and that was longer than episode I would want. But it would be fine. It would have been fine, but I sped it up, so we have time to do the rules. So let's go ahead and go out here. I don't know why that's there, but uh, let's go and make a little platform out here so we can do this. And if you didn't see, I'll show you in a second. We basically set up the difficulty sign in the game options, and we also set up the game time, like how long the game goes on. So if we go in there, uh, easy, medium, hard, and, and it actually changes the difficulty, so easy and if you open up options it changes so medium and hard so yeah it changes and this changes too they scroll through so I think that's pretty cool the only thing I don't really like is the delay in between so let's go back out here and let's expand this just two more blocks and let's hope the audio doesn't mess up for this clip but I'm gonna do this part, so there we go. And now we're going to grab the command block from over here. Let's go ahead and let's see. Hmm, I forgot. Let me scoreboard objectives set to slay sidebar rules. Yep, I already set up a object <laughs> an objective for it. So let's go ahead and make a little clock here. Set block redstone block and set block air there we go now let's grab redstone block place it down and there we go and now let's put a test for down a test for command block so let's just do this test for at p score underscore rules underscore, underscore minimum equals one and then it will take an output. I'm actually going to make that go this way. So we can make it a little more compact. And then once it, oops, put that in the wrong command block, but there we go. Um, after that, this will set your score to zero again. And it's going to do a bunch of tell raw things. So scoreboard players 
set p rules zero so there we go and now we're just going to have a bunch of command blocks to do it I think I actually already set up over here and yep I did but I just never did that like finished it and this was like to look at I don't really need this right now because I already set it up over there and it's ease of access so let's get few repeaters, put those away, two, three, well, let's just put on one tick, so, one, two, three, later on we could add more if we want, so, just adding a few for now, and I think that should be enough, so, let's see here, tell raw p, uh, text, mm, let's see, uh, one, and it's gonna be color dark. Well, it's gonna be red, and then extra. I'm pretty sure this is how I do it. I haven't done this in forever. Extra uh, text, and let's see. This will be no breaking blocks, or let's say. Uh, no breaking blocks by hand because there's gonna be power ups like for hot guy, and explosive arrow, all that stuff. Let's go and see if this works. I don't know if it does, so. And it's not. What's the problem here? Unknown error, blah blah blah. I guess we'll have to do it all one color. Let's just delete all this. No breaking blocks by hand. Red. So there we go. See? There we go. And then here we're just going to copy this. And we're going to make it a different color. So red. Uh, let's make this yellow. No, gold. Gold is it, I think. Yeah, gold. So rule number two. Let's see. Um, I have no idea. I'll be right back when I come up with ideas for rules. Okay, and I'm back, and let's see, I already did all of them, so you click there, and it tells you all of them. No breaking blocks by hand, must have two players, because it's going to be one person versus one person out of all these classes. No hacks or mods allowed, um, except like too many items and then must use custom resource pack if there is one. I don't know if I'm planning on to doing that or not because I can't do that and record it so that would be a little unnecessary but I might, it depends so depends if you want, if you guys want me to do it. So I, that's actually it for this video guys. I'm really sorry if it's shorter than the last one. It, I'm planning on having these to be 15 minutes long just I can't fit anything else in that will take like five to ten minutes but we did do uh, the game options and the rules so rules and then the game options so I think that's pretty good so thank you guys for watching make sure to like comment subscribe rate all that stuff and I will see you guys in the next episode